Wait, folks, how's it all going? And old man, homemade pretzels in the air fryer. And I'm not just talking about homemade pretzels from the store. We made dough. We made, we made some no-knead dough that can sit for 8 to 24 hours. No, no fancy tools needed. Just use a spoon for it. Uh, after 8 to 24 hours, you kind of cut it into slices and roll it a little bit. And then you just make yourself some pretzel bites. Poach them for 30 seconds each side. Air fryer, 10 minutes and you got some awesome pretzel bites. Oh, folks, this is so good. Uh, I tell you what, keep watching. I'm gonna show you how my wife and I did this simple little recipe that you can do too. All right, folks, so I posted, uh, posted the uh, recipe to make this dough, this no-knead dough. So you're just using a spoon to combine it all together. And then it rests on a countertop, not in the fridge or anything like that, covered uh, for anywhere from eight to 24 hours. So we'll start uh, now with uh, our process of making it. All right, so there, there it is, dough coming out. Uh, we got some flour on the board there. Uh, at, the, at the same time, we've got the oven preheating 450. We've got some water here, about two, three inches in a pan here. We're gonna get this to a boil, and we're gonna use this for the poaching of our pretzels there. And then we've got the, the baking soda here, and I'll leave the next step, the step of putting the, the baking soda on the recipe for the egg wash and such. I'll leave that as one of the next slides so you can see that. But uh, we bring this to a boil, and we add the uh, baking soda one tablespoon at a time because it does foam up quite a bit. And you can see uh, my, my lovely wife here is, uh, is kind of spreading out the dough a little bit, and uh, we'll uh, keep on going here. All right, so what she's doing here is she's just folding it over, and this is just uh, part of the whole process here. Super simple to do. This whole thing, remember, is <laughs> if I can do it, <laughs> or my wife can do it, anybody can do it, right? It's meant to be simple. All right, we took that dough, my wife has cut it into eight pieces. Now she's kind of rolling it out with a little bit of flour on it, and then those are gonna rest for 10 minutes. See, super simple to do. All right, so we're making, making pretzels here. Uh, folks, this is just our second time doing this, so we're learning as we go along. That's the great thing about YouTube. You can just kind of do what you want here, and, uh, you know, if you're willing to watch it, then, you know, <laughs> learn with us or make suggestions about what we're doing right or maybe what we're not doing so right. So uh, I think we're going to do a couple like this, and then we're going to do some, uh, some pretzel bites. And uh, you, you can see how she's just... Uh, Stretch is pretty nice. I mean, for no knead dough, it works. Uh, it works pretty good. And then you can see she's just uh, making a pretzel there. Fancy, fancy schmancy. So we'll keep on going, and uh, next step will be poaching them. All right, just making the pretzel bites uh, about the size of of a thumb, or but not your thumb, but a size of a thumb. Super simple to do. All right, folks, I've posted those instructions or the ingredients, and there we are. With, we're going to poach them. We've got about two, three inches of water in our fry pan. It's still boil. And then uh, three tablespoons of baking powder, one at a time, because as you can see there, it, uh, it foams up quite a bit. And then get that stirred around, and then uh, we'll start the, the poaching process, which is 30 seconds per side. So you, you put them in there and set your timer for 30 seconds, and then you kind of flip them over. And we'll give you a look. See, I'm, this is really, I'm enjoying this. You know, I'm enjoying this so much, folks. I'm not doing anything. My wife's doing all the work. I'm just standing here talking to you. It's a lot of fun. See how that goes? Echo, put the timer on for 30 seconds. And Echo will tell us when it's turn, time to uh, turn them. So after 30 seconds, you very carefully. Give them the flip. The, the bites are a little bit easier to do. So we're getting the big pretzels out of the way here. All right, we've got the pretzel bites are in there. And then we've got, we, we, you take them off, you put them to dry. And then you, you can, at this point, if you wanted to do the egg wash, you could do the egg wash. Uh, but uh, we didn't do egg wash last night, so we're not going to do it again. It, it's, it browned up just fine. And the salt sticked, and my wife likes caraway, so a little caraway and salt on hers. And then, like I said, 30 seconds one side, 
and then you flip them. If, if the water cools down to the point that it's not boiling so long uh, as much, you might want to take just a little bit longer on, on that. But uh, 30 seconds, and then, yeah, you give them a quick flip. And then, uh, I'll tell you what, right after this, we're going to be in the air fryer. Stay tuned. All right, so I got a dozen in the uh, Kasari air fryer here, and this is simple to do. Uh, put a little parchment paper or the spring roll paper on the bottom. Obviously, that's important because you don't want uh, your pretzels getting into all the little grooves there. They won't come out easy, and it'll be a pain in the butt to clean up. So, uh, like I said, we're doing this in the air fryer. We're doing it in the oven, 450 for about 14 minutes on the air fryer. I'm going to go, you know how I always cook everything on 400. So 400 is what we're going to do. And uh, time, we're going to do 10 minutes. And that's all it should take on the air fryer. And away we go. Give you a look-see in 10 minutes. All right, see, so these are the ones that are going to go in the oven. My wife's got sesame and caraway and salt on there. Everything actually looks really good right now. They're not even cooked yet. All right, so there's the ones going in the oven, not even a pizza stone. We just got a tray flipped upside down and then the parchment paper on there, and, and away we go. Obviously, we're going to give you a look-see at both, so you get to see the final product coming out of the air fryer and out of the oven. All right, we'll take a quick look. We're eight minutes in. It's got to be getting close. This makes me nervous. Look at that. Oh, man. I think just another minute or so, and they'll be good. So we'll put them right back in, but uh, I think these are looking... What do you think, dear? Are they done? I think another minute, babe. Another minute. Okay. So, babe says one more minute. So, what babe wants, babe gets. All right. Just out of the air fryer for a minute or two. Uh, oh, man. Uh, we did 12 of them. There's only 11 now. So, we both had half of one. They are so delicious, folks. I'll tell you what. I'll tear one apart here. So, you can see the inside. Look at that. On the air fryer. Super simple to do. Just gorgeous. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. Man, oh man. So, I left the instructions down below. Hope you enjoyed it. Thumbs up, leave a comment. And as always, folks, I'll just leave one quick look here at the end of the ones coming out of the oven. It takes longer than the oven does, does on the air fryer. Just another great thing that an air fryer can do. Homemade pretzels. Thanks for watching, folks. Oh, okay, so there's the ones out of the oven, folks. I tell you what, uh, mass consensus here is that it's better than the air fryer. More crispier, better done in the air fryer than in the oven. So, for my two cents, that's what it's worth. Thanks, thanks again, folks, for watching.